right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. All right, here he is for my money, might be the most well-rounded fighter in this division, a true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. All right, so here he is representing the American Kickboxing Academy, San Jose, California, a man who I believe is the most dominant force in the game at present, UFC lightweight champion, Khabib Nurmagomedov. You know, for Khabib Nurmagomedov, he's the guy that has dominated every person that he's faced inside the octagon. He has a great Sambo background, but it's all the takedowns that he mixes well together that allows him to gain top position, and when he's on top, his ground control is second to none. He can move from position to position seamlessly. And when he's on top, he's constantly doing damage. It's the ground and pound of Habib Nurmagomedov that is his biggest and best attribute. And what's crazy to me is to hear you tell stories about him in training oh. that we haven't even seen the tip of the iceberg when it comes to what he can do in the octagon. J.A., I don't believe that we have seen the finished version. I think when he's in the octagon, He's fighting at about 75% of what I see on a daily basis at the gym. Well, history is going to look back fondly on Khabib Nurmagomedov, but every time he competes, he puts his status as one of the greatest fighters of all time on the line, and that status, of course, on the line yet again here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. Now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of three wins, no losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, USA, the Assassin. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of. 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, All right, green through the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, come back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? Yeah. Are you ready? Let's go, guys. Fight. One is underway between one of the more well-rounded fighters in this division against maybe the best grappler in this division. Going to be interesting to see how it plays out. Yeah, you would think that he would just avoid grappling at all costs because he seems to have a clear advantage on the feet. But we've seen guys fight with their egos before. Let's see how he approaches this matchup. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Whiffs on the right hand. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the title. This is a massive moment for this fighter. He is a great Muay Thai fighter. Look for him to go knee-knee 
and then try to land a big one to the head. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? In the tie clinch, look for the knees to start. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, looking to land the leg kick. That one checked. Oh, big elbow. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. That kick is blocked. Oh, that's a good strike there by Nurmago Medov. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. Went for the inside leg kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Great punch. And he landed the right hand there. settling in when it comes to his counterattack here tonight. And again, making good use of what is a huge advantage in reach. Big power shot there. And that he comes knee, through with a big knee. That knee hurt him. Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, massive knee to the head. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, locking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Beautiful punch. Big leg kick land. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. One of the most important strikes of the clinch is this big body shot. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body. Plus right hand is true. Back and forth we go! Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Big punch lands over the top. Also gonna follow this. Nice double leg shot. Oh, how about the slam there? That one cannot feel good. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, working inside the closed guard now. This is no safe place against this opponent. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Round two straight ahead. All right, let us get you some replays now from that previous round, DC, and certainly you gotta think some body kicks are gonna find their way into this highlight. Yeah, he's throwing these body kicks, and he's throwing them with all of his force. He is driving his shin into the rib of his opponent. If his opponent does not block these, if he does not catch these kicks, his night is gonna end very soon. 
All right, here we go with our next round, DC. Pretty good game plan in the previous round. Attack the body to great effect, and we look to continue to do so here. He has done a great job of making the investment. The investment to the body that may not pay dividends early, but as the fight goes on, you will see it start to pay itself off. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back in range. Leg kick. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov, you see. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And Khabib lands early, he lands off. Big kick. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations here. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. A little cut below that left eye. Punch is blocked. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Trying to establish that jab once again. We march on three minutes to go. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh, good head movement there. Nice slip. All right, single collar time now. Caught that kick there. Very tricky to throw that body. Oh, nice punch there by Nurmagomedov. Jab there. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is certainly a step in the right direction. Mission accomplished. You are battering that dude. Real quick leg kick. Wow, he lands another leg kick. Big left hook coming. It's blocked. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, he got the boat to the target very quickly. Ooh, head kick lands, and he's hurt. Keep your hands up. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. 89 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. And landing with 42% accuracy thus far against Khabib Nurmagomedov. Checks that leg kick. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Got the single collar tie. Huge knee lands from close. And again, keeping that knee on the midsection. He is throwing a fast, straight, hard jab. That's not a feeler jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. Single leg takedown. 
tried to inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Ten minutes in the books. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. All right, DC, here we go with our next round, and we'll see if he can pick up where he left off. High volume of strikes landed in the previous round. High volume of strikes landed. He was able to be accurate, but also very, very active in his approach to the start of this fight. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. And then he lands a nice elbow. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. Big roundhouse now, just misses. Oh, beautiful head movement, slips there. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Caught that. Now, there's danger in that, too, because when you start reaching down to catch that kick, here comes the high kick, and you're in a lot of trouble. Well, that's a nice strike there by the Mongo Meadow. Yeah, Habib Nurmagomedov is not only a wrestler, he's a full-on mixed martial artist now, and it showed in that exchange. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Unable to land with that punch. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Right hook come and it's blocked. Look at the whip action that comes from him for that kick. He's back in the push position. This is where he has done a ton of good work here. Punch, punch, punch to the head from the clinch. Oh, single collar tie here. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting them up now. Mago Medov's kick to the body is blocked. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Oh, nice jab. Ooh, big shot to the body. Pretty good straight punch there behind Nermago Meta. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, collar tie. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Nice punch there by Nermago Meta. Obvious redness on the right side of his body. Oh, big head kick. Oh, brilliant execution to land the roundhouse. Great posture control by his opponent. Right on the button. Oh, setting up the left hook, but out of range. Beautiful leg kick thrown. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Right hand punch to the clinch. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Front kick to the body by Nermago Meta. Oh! Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Visibly limping here. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? He's throwing every part of himself 
into these big leg kicks. Lands with the right hand. Well done to block that powerful kick to the body. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. What a punch. That was a thudding leg kick. Oh, now he stuns him beautifully with the left hand. The left hand is so accurate, he's so educated, he's so able to fight from both fighting stances. All right, a lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1 level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them really picked it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Just unable to quite find that range. And they separate. Shooter throw. Let's see if he can capitalize and lock up his side. You gotta try to find whether or not you're gonna land. Ron and Kong here or if you're gonna go to submission. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Ground and pound strike there now. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. Oh, right in the mouth. Well, very efficient and effective with the ground and pound strikes here. High-level work by Nurmagomedov. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. There. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. You got to check these low leg kicks. Dermago Medov gets caught with that punch. Single collar tie now. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Javier Mendez, Tony Johnson, all the guys at AKA. Gotta like what they're seeing out of Khabib Nurmagomedov striking here early, DC. Oh, look at that jab. Snapped his head back. His jab hits the target so fast. Always with his hand right back to his face. <laughs> Under three minutes now to go in the round. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know, know when, when to fold him. Yep, there absolutely. Nice move and punch. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Not there. Body kick now by Nermago Meta. A little single collar tie there. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. And they separate. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent starting to slow down. He cannot take many of those kicks. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. That one snuck in. Nice strike. And that one certainly found the target. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. Well, he has got to be thrilled with this effort here tonight. There was a lot of pressure on him coming in. He is 
doled out a lot of damage, landed a lot of strikes, near flawless execution. Sometimes the hardest thing to do is what's expected. When you're expected to win, sometimes it's hard to live up to that expectation. He lived up to that expectation, and he exceeded it with such a great performance. Just out of range with that kick attempt. Way to hide that leg kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, that's a nice strike. Big power shot there. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. Seconds to go. Big leg kick lands. 20 seconds to go. Connects with a right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Nicely done to the body. Final seconds here. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. Last round, guys. You ready? You ready? Let's go. It is the fifth and final round. Big kick land. Punch coming. It's blocked. Nice sneaky head kick. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Kick to the body by Nermago Metal. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Nermago Metal gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Right hand punch to the clinch. Another punch to the head. He's really turning every part of himself into a strike to the head. What a beautiful counter to the guillotine there. Gets side mount, and now maybe the Von Flute choke will be there. Hoven St. Pru has got to like that transition there. He got it. He got it, John. Oh, he got it done, absolutely. He finishes his opponent by way of submission. He gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submissions. So there he is, your winner by submission, and that's exactly how you put the rest of this division on notice. Looks like this guy could be a factor moving forward in this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Merkley out has called to stop to this contest at one minute, 11 seconds of round number five. For the winner by submission, Abim Abimola. Well, the celebration is on in his corner, and hard to blame these guys, sort of waiting to exhale, get a huge win tonight, and not just the win, but they get it by submission. They knew what they had in front of them. They knew how tough a competitor his opponent was, but they also knew that if they could get this fight to the ground, they could find a submission. They found a submission, he got his hand raised in the way that he loves the most.